Tandayapa Lodge is one of the best places in the world to find a very elusive antpida species, the scaled antpida. This antpida is found quite widespread all over northern South America, right from foothill forest to lowland forest and even up to cloud forest elevations. So it's very widespread but incredibly difficult to find. It's one of the hardest of all the antpidas to see. But at Tandayapa Lodge, for some reason, these antpidas can be found with a little bit of perseverance in the understory of the forest around the lodge. We've got a scaled antpida right here feeding in the undergrowth close to this path. Getting great views of this scaled antpida feeding in the mossy undergrowth here and she seems to be collecting a whole group of worms. She's got two or three worms out of her bill at one time and this probably indicates that she's carrying them back to her nest. We're actually going to try and follow this bird, sit with it for a while because I think there's a nest very close by here. This is the time of the year when they could be breeding as well. She's not eating these worms at all. She is stocking them up in her bill. You can see them, three or four worms all in her bill and she's carrying them back somewhere. We're going to find out. Jose is not lying when he says that he has Amazonian eyes because he's found us the scaled antpitta nest. Scaled antpitta's nest typically from about a meter to two meters above the ground. And we've just found the nest and it's got two babies in it. Let's get a closer look. This is super exciting. We've got the nest, we've got two babies in it, we're gonna set up the camera at a discreet distance and we're gonna sit far away and watch the action as it unfolds. This is gonna be exciting. Because males and females look the same, I'm not really sure if this is the female, but I'm gonna call it a she anyway. We always need to take into account the impact that our filming has on birds, especially nesting birds. So often it's best for us to set up the cameras from a few different angles and let them roll while we back off to a distance that the birds are comfortable with. In my experience, birds will, for the most part, ignore an inanimate object like a camera, but will be freaked out by human presence. So we are setting up the cameras and waiting to see what happens. It's no surprise why so few scaled antpitta nests have been found. Look how camouflaged this nest is, and the babies do not move at all. They flatten themselves into the nest and remain totally motionless. Their black colouring in the dim light conditions breaks up any outline, and it just looks like an empty black hole. But as soon as one of the parents fly in, the babies know it's safe and they start begging for food. And from being totally inconspicuous, the babies now make themselves very apparent with their bright gapes. The busiest feeding times are early morning and late afternoon, when the light is pretty dim. So altricial chicks like these need to grab attention. The colorful gapes are a dazzling signal telling the parents where to place the food. The gapes are also really sensitive, reacting to the slightest vibrations or lightest touch. But perhaps the most interesting aspect of the scaled and pitter nesting habits revolves around housekeeping. The parents are fastidious about keeping their nests clean, as a dirty and smelly nest would undoubtedly attract unwanted predators. So at the first sign of a bowel movement, the parents will reach down, grab the bright white fecal sac and swallow the contents. And moreover, due to the fact that the babies have poorly developed digestive tracts, the fecal sac still contains valuable nutrients that can sustain the adults. This is important when the parent birds are so busy feeding their babies that they have little or no time to feed themselves. These parent scaled antpitters are wonderfully attentive, constantly brooding the chicks, sheltering them and keeping them warm. The parents also repeatedly make sure that the babies are fully covered 
and have enough space underneath them. Seeing the scaled antpitta at the nest and witnessing its bizarre behavior is something that is not recorded every day. In fact, prior to 2001, scaled antpittas had only been recorded at the nest a handful of times. And the nesting behavior and the behavior of the adults looking after and tending the nestlings has not been recorded until very, very recently. So to see this, witness it, and get it on film is something I'll never forget. Birding for me is all about the quest. The quest to see a particularly challenging species is something I dream about, plan, study and rave about. It totally consumes me. The anticipation of each birding adventure gives me sleepless nights, makes me talk in fast gibberish and sends tingles up my spine. And every so often, the experience is heightened by witnessing a challenging species doing something extraordinary, giving me a unique perspective into its life.